Welcome to the Windows Channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Thursday, January the 26th, 2017. And today in our Tech News we have uh, Windows 10 in the United States that beats Windows 7 in user market share for the first time since its launch. So um, basically it's very close, it's almost neck to neck. We know it's 31.33% of users are on Windows 10 versus 31.27% for Windows 7. So it's extremely close, but Windows 10 is slowly, you know, getting numbers that are uh, showing that in the United States, a very peculiar market, by the way, uh, for pretty much everything, including, you know, iPhone usage. But if you look at the stat counter stats for around the world, uh, their stats is that Windows 10 is at 26.7% of usage around the world. It's 1.7% more than the last numbers we had from um, another um, counter. Now, it is possible that the um, stat counters are a little off because they, the way they take the uh, numbers is very different. So sometimes they actually um, will give numbers that are a little higher than reality. Still 26, 25, you know, we're close to a quarter of the computers around the world running Windows 10 right now. And of course, Microsoft side, the last time they've issued a number was in uh, September with 400 million Windows 10 computers out there. No numbers since, and uh, usually that means it ain't increasing maybe very fast. Outlook users are now, 99.9% .9 of them are on the new Outlook.com experience. So they say that it's almost over. Pretty much everybody now is on the new Outlook.com experience. And of course, um, that migration took a long time to go through. I've been on Outlook.com, the new Outlook.com, for maybe a couple of months now. And so basically 99.9% .9 done, basically pretty much everybody should be apparently uh, on Outlook.com by the end of uh, or middle of February apparently. Game mode is coming to Windows 10 and it will come to the new Insider Preview which should be here possibly Friday. They rarely release an Insider Preview on Fridays but Donna Sarkar did say today there's no Insider Previews. A lot of people were thinking that today was the day but um, a um, internal blog and information about uh, game mode seems to point out that it will happen this week. So probably tomorrow, Friday, we would have an insider preview and it will have the new game mode. And of course, I'll be interested in testing this out and seeing if it actually makes games run faster. Uh, I intend to find a, uh, a test that I will be doing to uh, check that out. Windows 10 Insider Preview news again is that the latest build seems that many users have noticed that, you know, when Windows 10 released, the core apps that were with Windows 10, you could not uninstall them. Then came, you know, anniversary update, and we could now uninstall them. Well, it seems that the latest Insider Preview, it's back to we can't uninstall them anymore. So I don't know if it's just temporary or if Microsoft just backed away from the fact that you can uninstall them, but uh, the latest Insider Preview, you just can't. And of course, there's that little trick with CCleaner that lets you remove them, but uh, still, kind of interesting. Well, one thing that we learned also about um, Windows 10 Creators Update, in Windows, and I've posted a video about this, there's something called the Step Recorder. The steps recorder actually records everything a user is doing and takes screenshots in order for, say, an IT guy to find what problem is uh, pretty much uh, going on with the uh, operating system. Well, it seems that it will be removed from Creator's Update. It seems it's about to be removed from our Windows 10 machines. Now they say, well, yeah, we're going to remove it and replace it by the game bar that can take screenshots. The problem is, yeah, game bar takes screenshots, but it is not at all replacing the steps recorder. So it's kind of curious because it doesn't have all the options of steps recorder and uh, many people 
especially you know tech guys and IT guys rely on the steps recorder to see what's happening in the PC so um, it's gonna be an interesting thing to look at if they uh, do or not remove this from Windows 10 well Facebook will add a little more security by um, actually uh, wanting you to if you want use a USB security key and NFC to log in to a secure Facebook and this is interesting this would make Facebook even more interesting of course you could use any device with NFC like your smartphone to uh, log in or like uh, Facebook page or comments um, and this is all in an effort to make Facebook even more secure so this is interesting uh, to look at and we'll see uh, how the implementation goes with that Facebook Messenger will add advertisement on its uh, instant messaging services and the way they are doing it you just can't miss them out you can't remove them and you'll just have to look at them so uh, it's not yet implemented but apparently it's coming to Facebook Messenger Facebook is looking at different ways to monetize its content and this would be another way to get um, income from ads with the Facebook Messenger app. Uh, Netflix and Google are teaming up because a lot of municipalities in the US are actually blocking entry of new internet service providers with all sorts of regulations. And Google and Netflix say, well, that's not fair because it, you know, if new companies, new ISPs, including Google itself with you know its Google Fiber wants to get in the market it just creates more competition it means prices might go down and services might get better but a lot of municipalities are don't want that saying no you can't we have you know one or two providers and that's enough and we don't want any uh, uh, any other providers so Netflix and Google say well that's not fair and it shouldn't be like that so of course they're teaming up and they will, uh, of course, go to court and try all sorts of uh, legal means to try to, you know, uh, use the deployment of uh, broadband by not only their own services, but also by new ISPs in the United States. And finally, the mysterious update that we had yesterday, thanks to Peter that sent me a little email uh, to tell me that now the information was available. Uh, because yesterday we had no information and no clues of what this was. We now know that uh, KB3211320 is an update for the servicing stack. What's the servicing stack? It's simply an update to the structure of Windows updates. That means, um, it, at first they said critical, is there just a security flaw in Windows update? Or it's an improvement to the stack, meaning that they are improving the way Windows update works in Windows 10. But at least now we know what's inside the updates. So this was a Tech News Update for Thursday, January 26th, 2017. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And don't forget that today at 4 p.m. Eastern, 2100 hours universal, we have From the Couch Episode 3 with me and Gabriel. Hope you can join live, and if you can't, it will be, of course, as usual, recorded on the channel. So thank you so much for following us, and uh, hope that you enjoy our videos.